Hey everyone, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, now not only a children's card game, like it was before, but also a game where you can permanently damage your computer monitor. So, um, yeah, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon has been dropped into this game, and you know, I was super hyped before it was released, because um, Blue Eyes Archetype is actually one of my favorite archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! But... With the addition of this card, which you could only get before via skill, um, comes new rarity as well, which is legend rarity, and oh boy, they kinda screwed it up, in my personal opinion, because if you look at the artwork of uh, Blue Eyes, the only one copy that we got in this game, um, yeah, it's kinda fucked. <laughs> I can assure you, if this particular image stays on the screen for long enough, then you'll have a hole in your monitor. Like, seriously. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? I think, you know, that one intern who was working on this particular rarity for about, I don't know, 30 minutes, um, yeah, he should be fired from Konami, I think. Like, seriously, what the hell is that? <laughs> I know what they were going for, I know what they were going for, they were going for like uh, this ghost um, foil, ghost rare look, you know, but this whole transition, you know, when you have normal artwork and then artwork becomes a glowing light bulb, is not really well done, <laughs> like seriously, it kind of looks a bit ridiculous, you know, I already kind of got used to it, but it takes a while to get used to it, so yeah. And look, they also screwed, yeah, the um, artwork for this particular version of Blue Eyes as well. Here, I think it even looks much more shittier. <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, you know, today let's focus on mad farming, so uh, yeah, surprisingly enough, uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon actually has a game mat. And uh, how many Blue Eyes related game mats we had in this game? Like, seriously, someone should count. Because uh, that count is uh, quite high, actually. But in my opinion, the mat actually for uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is uh, one of the best Blue Eyes related mats in the game. So, so let me show you the mat uh, straight away here. Look at this beauty, yeah. Looks really cool and awesome, so... <laughs> yeah, it quickly became one of my uh, top favorite mats of all time, you know, in uh, Duel Links. So, so to get the mat, you have to summon uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon 100 times. However, though, um, you can also get sleeves, so you might wonder how to get sleeves. So to get the sleeves for this card, you actually need to win 100 duels with Alternative White Dragon in your deck. So actually getting sleeves is uh, much more harder than the mat, in my opinion. So Because, uh, you know, you don't have to like just play duels, you have to win them. So, yeah, so that's kinda eh. But, you know, eventually you'll get it. Especially now, you know, because everyone just plays on ladder blue eyes, so I, I suggest you do the same thing. So you can basically get mat and sleeves, actually naturally, just by playing blue eyes currently. Basically by doing what everyone is currently doing. So, so yeah, but uh, you know, to speed up the process, we'll be uh, using a mat farming deck for uh, mat here. So I wonder what kind of music uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon likes. So, you know, let me give you a hint. Uh, it's not Justin Bieber and it's not Katy Perry, you know? But anyway, speaking about the deck, of course we have here one copy of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. We also have here two copies of uh, regular Blue Eyes White Dragon. So the one copy we need actually for Alternative because Here's the thing about alternative, you can special summon it actually from your hand if you have blue eyes in your hand, like regular blue eyes, you know. So yeah, it's basically a free special summon. So, But uh, the trick here is that you need to have blue eyes in your hand. So you might wonder why we need second blue eyes here. 
Second blue eyes is basically here so that it acts as a wall, so that the opponent cannot ram uh, into our life points, you know, so that the opponent cannot kill us. So yeah, that's why we have two blue eyes, regular ones, actually here in our deck. So here we have one, the only copy <laughs> that we have in the game of uh, the Melody of Awakening Dragon, uh, which is really helpful to add actually both alternative and a blue eyes to your hand much more quicker. So next we have here one copy of Gold Sarcophagus. You can replace Gold Sarcophagus with uh, different dimension capsule. So different dimension capsules can be much more uh, free to play option. Basically, just to add our key pieces to our hand much more quicker, that's why this card is here. Uh, here we have one copy of Mist Valley Shaman, which we'll be using to bounce our own alternative back to our hand, so we can uh, summon uh, our alternative White Dragon in the next turn again, you know. So you may wonder, you know, uh, why not, um, I don't know, use Kaiba's skill, which kind of gives you free alternative blue eyes, you know, by transforming regular blue eyes into alternative blue eyes, why not use that skill, right? So that you could get like two blue eyes alternative ones and you could summon them each and every turn, you know, two times because you will have two now. Well, here's the thing about that particular uh, strategy. Um, blue eyes alternative white dragons affect when you can summon him from your hand by showing uh, regular blue eyes. It can only be activated once per turn. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of getting cock blocked here by that requirement. So, but you know, uh, overall I managed to get, I think, 20 summons in one duel of uh, Alternative White Dragon by using this deck. So eventually, you know, you'll get that math. It's not that hard. It's not that uh, lengthy, you know. So, yeah. So next here we have uh, three copies of Ancient Rules uh, to summon our regular blue eyes which will act as our wall, you know, so next uh, two copies of uh, different dimension capsule, as I said before uh, you can just take and replace one gold sarcophagus with third copy of uh, your uh, capsule here, so uh, next one copy of the Mask of Remnants so that we do not deck out. Basically, you just use it each and every turn, and you do not deck out that way, so... Uh, next here, uh, two copies of Legacy of Yatagarasu, three copies of Jarl Greed for additional drawing power. Next, one Graceful Tear and one Lockless Tornado, so that our opponents are not picking up. You basically um, use Graceful Tear and give your opponent Lockless Tornado, and then your opponent, like an idiot, uses Lockless Tornado and is not decking out, so... <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of like a clever move, but you know, it's just that why opponent should use that, you know, you, you may never think that he should use it, but he just uses it, so. And here's one kind of like secret weapon, which I have here, and I think it's kind of like overlooked card in my opinion, if we're speaking about ladder and stuff, because there was a time when I was actually experimenting with this card a bit, and it worked uh, actually quite well. Array of Revealing Light. So it's a field spell card and it's quite an interesting one. Declare one type of monster. Any monster of the declared type cannot declare an attack during the turn it is normal summoned. Flip summoned or special summoned. So you know if you're up against a particular deck which uses a lot of uh, one type of monsters then this card is actually uh, really good to kind of stop their attacks for a while, you know. So sometimes, uh, yeah, in ladder, this card uh, comes in handy. So, but uh, you may wonder why this card is here uh, in our deck. Also, pretty much for the same thing to stop our opponent from um, attacking us. But here's the thing: I was kind of going up against um, Yugi Moto, you know, um, the SOD version. And here's the thing: at level 10, even at level 10, he has Dark Magician in his deck. So yeah, I was using basically this card to declare spellcaster type so that uh, his dark magician does not wipe my life points so <laughs> speaking about skills i have here draw sense high level which is really good to get these uh, blue ices uh, to our hand much more quicker 
But here's the thing though, um, let me see. As you can see, uh, all three blue eyes as are light attribute. So instead of uh, draw sense high level, you can actually use your draw sense uh, light. But here's the thing though, to activate draw sense light, uh, you need to take 1500 damage, you know. But in the case of draw sense high level, you only need to take 1000. So draw sense high level in this particular case is actually better. So, but yeah, that's uh, the deck uh, in a nutshell. I don't know why I added uh, like this particular flashbulb version of uh, this particular Blue Isis artwork here, but eh, whatever. If my monitor goes to waste, well, whatever. <laughs> you know. But yeah, let's hop into the dual replay. Like I mentioned before, I was using here um, a regular. Uh, Yugi Moto here, DSOD um, version, level 10. You might ask why? Well, for lore purposes, because he is uh, Kaiba's arch nemesis. So. so, remember that time when Konami got lost in translation and they translated uh, Kaiba saying that he wanted to become a pharaoh or something ridiculous like that? Well, now is that time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, we are using Gold Sarcophagus to add uh, alternative to our hand much more quicker. Then let's set that other draw more card. Let's take a lot of damage to the face to draw regular blue eyes to our hand by using um, yeah, high uh, level skill. And uh, yeah, by using the ancient rules I just summon it straight away, so enjoy the awesome DSOD animation where uh, at the end Blue Eyes almost breaks his neck. So, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, our wall is set, so opponent won't be able to run over us now. So we use the melody to um, add one more copy of uh, Blue Eyes to our hand. So yeah, we are pretty much set. Well, kind of almost. Still need to get Mist Valley Shaman. And then we're pretty much set. Okay, let's summon Alternative White Dragon to our field. And Alternative White Dragon, as you can see, also has spicy looking summoning animation. New one, so... <laughs> yeah, Konami just likes blue eyes, Konami likes dark magicians as well. And you know, I kinda appreciate that. I like that they respect nostalgia, you know? And uh... It's really fine with me, because uh, I'm a big fan of both of these archetypes, actually. So... <laughs> so we are still digging here for uh, cards that we should give to our opponent, so our opponent is not digging out here. But speaking about ourselves, we are kinda set here and uh, yeah, ready to go. I'm kinda just trying to draw all my deck here, so... Yeah, just in case, let's uh, use here Array of Revealing Light and let's declare Spellcaster, just in case uh, uh, Yugi decides to summon uh, Dark Magician. But I think he actually uh, won't be doing that in this replay. I don't know why. <laughs> because uh, there was one time when he actually uh, summoned Dark Magician and uh, run over my uh, Mist Valley Shaman. But, uh, you know... In case when uh, Yugi actually summons Dark Magician, what I advise you to do, uh, because I uh, you know by using your field spell card, he won't be able to attack with it. He won't be able to run over your Mist Valley Shaman right away. So what I advise you to do to actually, um, in the next turn, run over his uh, Dark Magician, you know? So that uh, that threat is no longer on the field. So. And yeah, as you can see, we are not decking out, because we are using each and every turn our the Mask of Remnants here. Our opponent, uh, yeah, he'll be using Luckways Tornado, because we gave it to him uh, via Graceful Fear here. So, and what we are doing now, each and every turn, we're using uh, Mist Valley Shaman's effect to bounce our own uh, alternative blue eyes back to our hand, as you can see here. And as you can see, uh, because we have uh, regular blue eyes 
in our hand as well. We can actually summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon again. Just by showing regular Blue Eyes to our opponent. And uh, yeah, that's how our Alternative appears on the field each and every turn, basically. So. Yeah, there's not uh, too much uh, going for this deck, just, you know, your regular basic uh, mat farming strategies that you, at this point, probably know um, really well, <laughs> because simply uh, I'm just making, you know, these mat farming videos so much. So, yeah. So in the future, like I already mentioned before, I won't be making uh, mat farming videos anymore simply because, uh, uh, yeah, there are many things which kind of blend together in these videos. So, however, though, um, considering there won't be too much uh, dual links content in the future, I will probably be um, in that case actually streaming this game, and uh, you know, in the streams, I'll be uh, actually uh, more focusing on a ladder. Because, you know, being a free-to-play player, there's uh, limited things that I can actually discuss about this game which are not meta and which are not events, you know? So, <laughs> so you should, like, understand me as well, you know, that uh, there is a limited uh, amount of content that I can provide in regards to my uh, topic. <laughs> so. But yeah, as you can see, that's how the deck uh, works. I already mentioned everything, I think, everything important. So yeah, have fun with the deck. As you can see uh, here in this particular uh, mat farming um, case, uh, I was actually using Kaiba's jabroni sleeves and mat, so... <laughs> but you know, that's the pain that I had to take to get one of the best mats in the game, so... But yeah guys, um, enjoy the deck, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video. And also, uh, yeah, make sure to check out my uh, stream as well from time to time, where I'll be uh, streaming um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links as well, so... Yeah guys, cheers! Have fun in becoming pharaohs. Wanted to throw here at the end Napalm Deaths You Suffer But Why song, which is, I think, what? Three seconds grindcore song or something ridiculous. <laughs> but you know, worried about that DMCA. Oops.